So today I'm gonna to show you how to build a complete onboarding automation using N8N. What we're building today is a workflow that starts with submitting an onboarding form. Then it automatically creates client folders in Google Drive, sets up projects and tasks in ClickUp, and based on AI parsing the client's proposal document, we'll create a dedicated Slack channel and post a welcome message, and we'll also send a personalized welcome email to the client. And basically what that means is if you have a fully automated onboarding system that connects Gmail, Google Drive, ClickUp, Slack, and OpenAI to handle everything without any manual input. So this is useful because we'll be able to save hours of repetitive setup on every new client and streamline communications and task management. So in this video, we're gonna be covering three main parts. We're gonna capture and extract form data and documents, parsing the proposal, and then AI to generate the task and automate the folder project, Slack, and email creation. We'll quickly just dive into the workflow and show you how it works. So here we can start with executing the workflow. We'll do James test for YouTube, and then an email, company name. We could do the name, just be like test client name. And then we can enter in a website as well. And then uh, for the pur purpose of this video, I just created a draft proposal document for an SEO blog automation proposal there. And we can go ahead and upload that file and then click submit. And what we'll see is that the automation is starting to run. So it's just created a Google Drive folder and also a folder in ClickUp, created a list in ClickUp, and now the AI is reading the PDF that we sent and is gonna be creating tasks inside of ClickUp, maybe 10, 20 tasks inside of ClickUp, and then create that channel inside of Slack, and then we'll be able to send a post message in Slack and also a welcome message in Gmail. Okay, so you can see that we have created the Slack channel and the workflow is executed successfully. And so what we'll go in and we'll go in and see that we've created a Google Drive in this folder. <clears throat> and you can see that we just created the test client name from what we input in the form. And then we'll also be able to see inside of ClickUp as well and then also we created a list, a task list inside of ClickUp that the client and um, the agency or yourself would need to be completing in order to get their system or their automation or their service um, on track to, to completion. And then we'll also check Slack as well to be able to see the channel that was created in there. And then you can see we created the test client name channel, which is here. And you can see that it said, welcome. We're excited to have you on board. This channel will be our main hub for communication throughout the project uh, to get things rolling. We'll need like this and you know a few items. And then you know we can join the channel and then we'll be able to chat with the client in here as well in Slack. Okay, and then, so let's start by diving in and building this out. So for this workflow, we just created a form submission and we've included fields like the name, the email, the company name, and the website, as well as a option to upload the files or a proposal document. And so when that happens, right, like you've seen in this uh, form step here, we'll go into move to extract that file that was uploaded. And we'll, we have that file here and then just the parsed information from that file as well. And then this node here pretty much is a set field node and we've turned it to manual mapping. And pretty much what we did is we called it project information and then pretty much dragged over the text into the um, set field here. So the automation will have complete context of the onboarding doc or the proposal documentation. The next is creating a Google Drive node where we will find, we will use a folder and create a folder. And we've used a field here to pretty much name the folder, whatever the company name that was input into the 
um, into the form submission, which is test client name. So you can see here that it's called test client name. And then we have a client folder hard coded information and you can change that to anything else. And then it will be uploaded into your drive and a um, dedicated folder inside of Google Drive as well. And then same step kind of here, we're taking the company name from the form submission and titling it test client name, client folder, right? And then you can see that we've output the ID and the name of the new folder inside of ClickUp. And we'll also create a list inside of that ClickUp folder. So what we've done is we're creating a list and then selecting our correct workspace and then our space name and then the folder ID that was pulled from here. And then also for the form submission name, we're just, again, we're using the, <clears throat> the company name and dragging it into here and titling it onboarding list. And then after we've created the folders and lists inside of ClickUp and Google Drive, we'll then push it to the AI agent, which is prompted to pretty much give a onboarding agent um, who's responsible for reviewing a proposal and a scoping document for a new client. And then their job is to extract a comprehensive list of actionable tasks and assign appropriate task titles and estimated durations of those tasks and generate the due dates accordingly. And then the final output will be used to populate a ClickUp folder for the team to begin onboarding activities. And I'll share this prompt within the uh, description as well for you. And then what you can see here in the output is that we've created several tasks in ClickUp. And you can see here that um, we've created this new test client folder name and also the list for that test client folder name. We can view it in the Kanban style of board or just the list. And you can see that we've created 24 new tasks, including the kickoff project, the audit existing SOPs, set up system access, prepared login credentials, kind of all the standard things that you would need for an agency. And then any kind of relative um, tasks that are associated with the proposal document. And then what that agent would do is just split these tasks out into um, these 24 items. So we will be able to have ClickUp loop over each item that the AI identified, um, you know, 24 tasks and one by one by task one and task two and et cetera, we'll be able to loop over and create those items. And then once those items are finished, it will go ahead and then create a Slack channel where we've just select the resources channel, operation as create, and then the channel name, which here you can see is test client channel. And we can see that this Slack channel was created with test client name channel. And then we will be able to see um, and communicate with the client through there. And then the next step is posting a new message automatically. So we'll take a resource as the message resource, send them, an op the operation is set to send, and then we will select the channel and then the channel ID, which is here, which we just dragged in. And then a simple message, just kind of saying, welcome uh, client name, we're excited to have you on board, et cetera. This channel will be our main hub for communication. And then um, just a list of things that we'll be walking through together and Yes. And then finally, we have a Gmail node, which will send to the email that they uh, included inside of the submission form. And um, we'll also be able to just send a subject of that email that says welcome. And then here your onboarding is complete. And then we'll be able to just have a, a template of the Gmail message that will be sent to them. And there you have it. It's a fully automated onboarding workflow that connects five platforms to deliver a client onboarding experience. And when this automation runs, it immediately will notify the client and your team. And any client documents are gonna be organized 
and projects and tasks will exist in ClickUp with the uh, detailed steps that we've created and then communication channels will be ready and a welcome email will also be sent without any kind of manual work. So yeah, this saves hours per, you know, any onboarding and you can see that uh, if you did like five or 10 clients per month and needed to onboard each one, you know, maybe the manual process would take about one to two hours creating the folders, going through the proposal document and creating tasks manually, um, and then creating the Slack channels and the channel in, inside of ClickUp as well, and then sending that introductory message. So all this runs within 20 to 30 seconds right after the form is submitted. So yeah, feel free to comment below if you have any questions or wanna see more examples of uh, N8N automations that will help you out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.